Uh, but the point is, I mean, the only thing with these is you've got you've got to, you've got to have the computer in the right place for the film. I was going to show you these pictures, wasn't I? How how are you guys anyway? You've been on t yeah. detox, Kurt. Wait, what's, what happened with this detox? Uh, tell me what the story. Yeah, I got. Sorry, when I come out, like, in like well, what happened? Well, I got a telephone call. Right, I've been on there like on Eve. I rang her up and she said, like, she tried to hang herself. Oh, yeah. She tried what, sorry? Hang herself. Oh, fuck it. That's bad. So Why? She's fucked up. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, that's not right. I, I, I think you've got to have, I've got to have a camera sort of like pointing. I've got to point the screen to point the camera. I don't really not as much fun as video. No, no, no. Talk about someone else. How was really? detox? I was asking you how yeah, actually, detox was. I fucking enjoyed it. I don't really like it. Yeah? Tell me where you were. What happened? It's in uh, well, tell, start Stop from the video. Tell me how, I started, how, how you got into it. Because I've been going to meetings, haven't I? Because I sort of like thought my drinking was getting out of order right. a little bit. Yeah. And I thought, well, I want to cut it down and everything. And I thought the only way to do it is going this route and everything. Aye. So I'm having a bad day today. But, yeah, but, wait, but tell me what happened. Where did you go? Oh, with Harlow. Harlow. Well, and where were you staying? It's in like, a manor house. Manor house. So tell me basically what you said earlier today in the supermarket. Well, so like you've got the rehab people yeah. who are in there for six or seven weeks. Well, it's three to six months. Uh, then you've got the detox people who are only in there for like ten days. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> tempt the devil. Tempt the devil. Tempt the devil, why don't you? This is bad enough. Yeah, yeah. alright, yeah. Okay. Where we where we staying in the manor house, isn't it? No, it's not yeah, it's like like it's in the near the town, but it's like out of town, you know what I mean? So, yeah. It's quite a nice place, actually. Oh, I really right. enjoyed it. It's a bit in the countryside. Like, what was the food like? What was the food like there? Fucking food. Just fucking food. Just fucking yeah. Three meals a day. I put it on a stone in two weeks. How do you pay for it? No, because I've been going to the meetings and everything. Yeah. I was funded. Oh, right. Cool. So you quite literally got a movement. The National Health Service. Yeah, but this actually took me two years to actually oh. get to where I was. Well, that's that's a point. That's a point I was thinking of actually. You know, are they, are they going on about Maggie Thatcher? Yeah. Actually, I'll tell you one thing, one truth, right, about Maggie Thatcher. I've got it written down. Hold on a minute. Let me find the book. This is right. Yeah. Because right. Maggie Thatcher snuffed it, didn't she? Last week, actually, Maggie Thatcher snuffed it. And everyone was saying, oh, how great it is that she's dead. I think she's but let me let me tell you. Yeah, but I, I, I've got a little bit written down. Hold on a minute. Let me find it. Oh, no, fuck it. Yeah. yeah, but it's not funny. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, man. I mean, the only worst thing she's done was poll tax. Oh, no, let's, let's, I'll have to, I'll have to, it's like in. Hold on a minute, I've got to have fun to get my fucking thing working again. Here we are. No, but the truth is, is it's like with Maggie Thatcher, okay, Maggie Thatcher, no, this is the truth, the truth about Maggie, this is the truth about Maggie, right? She didn't abolish the clause 28, right? Hold on a minute. Can I just? I'm going to just my pictures gone funny. Sorry. Yeah, but she didn't abolish the clause 28. True, for gay sex, for gay sex education in schools. But you have to admit that when Maggie Thatcher was in power, we had Channel Four. When Maggie Thatcher was the Prime Minister, we had Channel. Four. Have you ever heard of Channel Four? The original Channel Four. Mm -hmm. We had the comic strip and stuff like that. But we had gay fucking sex. Fuck, we had gay fucking movies on television. When Maggie Thatcher was in power, um, Channel Four used to broadcast a lot of gay, um, a gay films like um, Fruit Machine. I don't suppose you've ever seen Fruit Machine. It's very uncommon, very rare now. They, gay, uh, oh, Channel 4, no hang on, Cha Channel 4, oh, Channel 4, it, yeah but Channel 4 started the first gay TV. On Channel 4 we had a gay TV programme on almost every night of the week, seven days a week. When Maggie Thatcher was in power, 
We may not have had education in schools, but we did have educa education at home. On ev almost every night, there was things like, um, I, can't, I can't remember any of the fucking programs' names now. There was Gay TV on Channel 4. Very, every day, no, I'm talking about sort of like yeah, gay no, time, have, before gay time, time TV, <laughs> before even gay time TV and stuff like that. We had gay TV on every night of the week on Channel 4, where Maggie Thatcher on power, was in power. And also, when Maggie Thatcher was in power, we had the very first safe sex campaigns on television. When Maggie was in power, we had safe sex campaigns on television every night of the week. Every commercial break for a while when AIDS was really big. Do you remember AIDS? When AIDS was really big, right? Okay, Maggie Thatcher did not abolish Clause 28, but she allowed Channel 4 to broadcast gay TV and sometimes even gay pornography. She also allowed Channel 4 well, all the ch uh, the channels to broadcast safe sex campaigns. That was when Maggie Thatch was in power. We had the first ever gay sex safe campaigns against HIV. Like wear a condom to protect yourself from getting HIV. 30 years later, everybody's got fucking AIDS and no one listens. You heard of Mike Esser, by the way. He was a, he's a fucking great filmmaker. A lot of fucking good stuff happened on the Meg Thatcher, actually. She did, leave, she did actually sell all the, count, let people buy their own council houses. Yeah, she, she made a hell of a lot of, she made, she made a hell of a lot of people, Kurt, she, she made, she made a hell of a lot of people rich, she didn't she? Maggie Thatcher, yeah. dollars, um, million pounds. Yeah, she kept that of Europe, sort of thing. Well, I don't know about, you know. She was strong, she fucking, strong woman, mate. Fucking, she was, First, get, get in there. And she did. She did actually give poor people the chance to buy their houses. Yes. Did you know before Mecca Thatcher, no one could buy their council house, and people actually bought the council houses for about fifteen thousand pounds in the in the eighties when Mecca Thatcher was in power, and a lot of people, a lot of poor people, became very rich from buying the council houses, right? Also, she introduced the small business, um, the small businesses. She paid for uh, people, poor people, to start their own mm. businesses. Mm. She did. She enabled a lot of people to start their own businesses. Well, and a lot of poor, only, pe a lot only, of poor people had a chance. The, uh, council had uh, poll tax. Well, clause twenty eight. I love to it, but council okay. tax. I don't know. I think council tax is a good idea. Do you know? Do you remember rates? Right? How much money? How much money? Yeah, but yeah, but think where's about she, it. Where's your son? Uh, Kurt. 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 He lives in town. Cost out, but no, it's pay it off. How much money do, did people pay in rates? Hmm. Do you remember rates before council tax? We never yeah, paid rates. Like but the tax, rates. Yeah, but yeah, the like point is, rates. No, can I say my point of view? It's like this fucking bedroom tax thing now. That is another fucking like, what, what, what tax. It's like a fucking like, undercover poll tax. It's an amazing. You got a fucking. Uh, you got an old woman living in a house, who she's lived in there sort of like thirty or fucking. Yeah, or but this isn't making taxes. This is and that yeah, other. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is another fucking. This is thing. now. This is yeah, now. This is now. Sorry, make that point. Make that point. Yeah, that's this, not this making taxes yeah, now. No, no, no. But this is. Who, who is who is in power? Cameron. What's his name? David Cameron. David Cameron. Right, yeah. tell me what he's done. Well, it's a fucking like if you've got a bedroom spare, yeah, you have to pay right. extra money yeah. on it. If you've got two, if you if you're an old woman and you've lived in that house for forty fucking years, yeah. and suddenly you've got to pay fucking like twenty odd quid extra a week, or even that more, is sick. That's fucking, fucking sick for, for the two bedrooms because they're not occupied. Yeah, one woman, what is this? This what really winds me up. One woman, she's kept her, her daughter's room right. as a shrine who died. Yeah. And now she's got to fucking pay money on that. You know what I mean? She's got to pay. That is completely sick. Yeah. That's completely sick. Yeah. That is sick. 
That is sick. You're, you're quite it's right. Fucking, a it's, a poll, it's a poll tax. Well, you get, you get, the yeah, but you get a council, the council, the council, the whole point. They call it a bedroom tax. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 man. yeah, but, but the point is the council tax replaced rates. Rates were higher, were well, a lot more. Really Do you know anything about rates? Rates were actually a lot higher in the old days before council tax. Council tax keeps everything mm. steady. Rates varied up and down. So sometimes you had to pay more money and sometimes less, sort of thing. Interest rates and stuff, you know. So in in the long run, that was all right. I don't mind paying council tax because I know the council. I, I am living in a council. I mean, the fact is, we live in a council. I'm living in a council flat, right? Okay, the council. They look after my gas boiler, right? They do all the mechanical stuff. If the gas boiler goes wrong, the council fix it for nothing, right? Mm. That would cost four or five hundred quid, yeah. probably, to get a new gas boiler, right? The council look after all my gas and electricity. No, fucking... All my no, they do, they do. No, no, what I was saying, and the council no, also. No, no, also no, 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 wait, a minute, let me finish. Let me fucking finish. <laughs> No, let me finish. The reason I don't oh, mind... No, let me let me have my say. <laughs> Just let me have my say, all right? The council tax is a good idea. I pay my rent so that I have a roof over my head. Now, let's face it. You guys don't have to pay any rent, do you? You don't pay any rent whatsoever because you're not working. Because you're not working... Now, let's, let's face it. Because you're not working... You are living rent-free. You have a roof over your head. You have a home. Even though you don't pay for it. Right? Because you're unemployed. You get it for nothing. For fuck's sake, you should be grateful about that. You should be grateful for having a roof over your head. To be honest. And there are still a lot of homeless people in the room. This is 20 years after that show. I'd home all the homeless before I had any immigrants. If I had my way, I would house all the homeless before any immigration. Stop immigration until you house the homeless. I would say stop immigration totally. No immigration until all the homeless are housed. Seriously, I would, that's my policy, my main policy, I would say. I, I, would, say, I would say, I would say, no, I, if I was a Prime Minister, I would say, house all the homeless, every single homeless person, house the homeless before you have any immigration. And I think the council tax is a good idea. Remember, it's the council tax, not rates. So it's the, about the council. Now, the council, I pay £75 a week, a fair price, a fair price. I have a roof over my head. I have a home. I don't want to own my home. I'd like the council to keep it. They fixed all my windows. That's about 10 grand's worth of work. Yeah. You know, 15 grand it would have cost to refit all the windows, even though the balcony is crap. Um, the, the windows ain't shutting properly. But, oh, got okay, no, I haven't got it fixed. It's the came around on a not windy day. But the point is, I pay £15 a week, £15 a week, only £15 a week, for council tax. And the, the council actually do look after my locks. They'll fix my door locks. They fix the boiler. They look after the boiler. If the boiler needs replacing, the council replaces it. If the electricity meter needs replacing, the council fixes it. If I have any problem with the actual sort of electrical stuff in my house, the council fix it. If I have any trouble with the plumbing, the council fix it. That's a bloody good deal for 15 quid a week. <sighs> Think about it. Hold on. 15 quid a week, Kurt. We pay fi I pay, yeah. as a worker, I pay £15 every week for council tax. That pays, that pays for all my repairs. If I break a window, the council fix it for nothing. If I break if I broke a window, the council would fix it. If I break a, lock, a door on the lock, the council would fix it. 
if I break my boiler, the council fix it. I've got a caretaker who cleans the hallways. Does he try? He tries. Mick he tries. Mick <laughs> does try. Mick does, does fucking try. Yeah, he but he does crazy. his job. Now we've got a hell of a good deal for 15 quid a week council tax. For 15 quid a week council tax, we get a caretaker, we get repairs, we get plumbing, electricity, we get fucking any any electrical repairs done for nothing. It, I don't want to buy this place. I love living here. Yeah, I'm not. We're not we ain't that hard done by. What? Well, they worked for the council yeah. tax as well. Yeah. Saying that, council yeah, tax. He, he oh. moved out, didn't he? Thought he was own place. Oh, right, yeah. Saying that, the council tax, though, but isn't it rent that pays for all the things the council do? Because I, I'm rent is a roof over your head. Yeah, I mean, I'm not with the council. I'm with the house No, no, and I'm with the, the, I'm with the, I'm with the council. Yeah, I'm with the council. See, that's a mistake. But rent, 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 rent is go, just the space. Always go with the council. The fact, the fact. The fact is so more rights with the council. The fact, the fact of the matter is. I'm still in court now. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, Dan, Dan. Dan, look at it this way, right? Yeah. Um, the rent is a roof over your head, right? That's the actual box that you're living in, is the rent itself. Yeah. You're renting land space, somewhere to live, yeah? A box, basically. The council tax pays for all the things like plumbing, electricity, repairs, yeah. locksmiths, which each would cost that hundreds of pounds, actually. Yeah. Do you know how much a locksmith costs? I don't know, I got quite Probably a about 500 pounds. quid or something, a couple hundred quid maybe. Yeah, I got you know, how, mu how much does a plumber cost? How much does, yeah. uh, uh, how much would a caretaker cost? How much would a fucking, um, be funny, you know, like it, it's quite fair actually. I'm quite, I, I, I'm, I'm treated quite, quite I, I like the council actually, I've got no problems with the council. Yeah, I think you've got more rights with the council. Well. Plus you can decorate your house any way you want, as long as you repaint it if you move. Because they're going to come around and start checking up. On well, I ain't, no, no, they've been here several times. They know what I'm like. They've been around several times. They've, I've had them fucking in they, They've, they've never given me any, council never gave me a house, except when I had the dog. I think they just choose me because I'm fucking, well, what was it? Yeah. But the council. The place is always clean. <laughs> I have no complaints. Yeah, I have no complaints with the council. Can I stop this movie because I'm paranoid that it's going to break down? And then we'll carry on with another one. Do you want to make another one? I'm going to shoot him. All right. Anything else you want to say to the camera then? I'm going to fucking... Dan? Anything else you want to say to the camera? No. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's stop it now.